Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Good to see you today, tonight, or this evening on when you're viewing this. So come on in, have a seat, come sit with me because today I'm talking about November 20th, 1995. Hey, guess what? That's today. Today is the 20th of November, 2017. What a coincidence. No, Beetle Brad set it up to do it this way. That's right. I did it this way myself. So, we're talking about 95. And today, the Beatles Anthology came out. Oh, man, oh, man. For the first time, we finally got songs and a brand new album. And for the first time ever, in 25 years, we got a brand new song, Free as a Bird. Oh, man, that was exciting to get. To finally hear George and Ringo and Paul working on a John Lennon demo. There was rumors. There was talk about it. There was buzz. There was a lot of big discussion about this. And it finally came to be on this first album of Anthology 3, which was a three-record set. And I got mine at midnight, stood in line, and waited out front in the store at midnight. And it was really exciting, really happy and fun. I mean, it was the good old days of buying vinyl when you could st stand in line and go to these matinees and do all that kind of stuff. Well, there was the album, there was the CD, and possibly maybe you got the 45. But... I'm going to go outside of the box and have you think about some other things that you could have purchased then for the anthology one. So cast your minds back, as Paul McCartney says, and we're going to 1995 to the anthology one. All right, first up, this is the cassettes, Free as a Bird, two of them. And they're both still sealed. This was a demo that was given to Paul McCartney from Yoko Ono, Free as a Bird, that John was working on. Um, I've heard the rough, actually I've got the rough demo on a boot of John Lennon's, and it's good. Um, I think John would have really cleaned it up, really done something else with it, a lot more exciting. Um, but he did that instead of, of Yoko doing that giving it to Paul. And it's a great song. It's good. It's not terrific. As I said on my other video, I think um, I think Real Love is better. And I think they kind of knew that. That's why they put it out second. It's just Beetle Brad's opinion. It's what I kind of think. All right. Going through some things. That was the uh, single 45 on CD. Then this is the album itself. And this is a little bit different. This is a... German copy. It's a slim line as opposed to a thick one. So it's a German pressing. Then this is my American CD pressing. And this is still sealed as a, an American pressing of that. Not only that, but it's a promotional copy up here. It's got the promo sticker. And that is still sealed. So that's really cool. And then next up is this. This is very hard to get. Quite rare. Sorry I don't have some jazz or some instrumental music in the background. That would have been kind of fun. There we go, the anthology. That's cool. You can, you can hum to yourself. That's what it looks like inside. Picture. And then it's got this with it. It's just a little, little, tiny, tiny, tiny booklet from the lads. This is just cool. Um, this was kind of getting kind of hard to find this now. This is kind of disappearing, this anthology uh, promo. That's kind of getting a little harder to get now. So anyway, I'll show you that. Then this is just tons and tons of the Beatles anthology. This is them. 
This is a DVD of the press kit. This is them working in the studio. And it's also video footage of John Paul... <laughs> John, well, his audio voice is on there. But it's George, and it's uh, Ringo, and it's Paul, and it's video of a lot of video footage of them together that has not been seen. Really, really cool stuff that they used. They never used for the anthology. Um, but that's the electric press kit, as it's called. A lot of great stuff on it. And then next up is this, which is the anthology. Very rare, the uh, promotional press kit. And this has got a lot of cool stuff. It has an anthology postcard. Nothing on the back. Real cool picture. This is actually a photo of Dezo Hoffman, who did a lot of Beatles publicity photos. There's a great book out on Dezo Hoffman as well. But that's really cool. Nothing on the back of that. Then this is a press release photo. I love this photo. This is a terrific photo. One of my favorite pictures. I think they could have used that. I would have liked to have seen this picture for the BBC One or BBC Two when they put that series out. My opinion, I would have liked to have seen that for the photo. I just think that's a whole lot cooler. But that's just that's just my opinion. <laughs> and you know how well my opinion holds up, everybody, don't you? Or maybe use that for the first one and maybe use this one for the second one for the BBC. I know. I should have been a marketer for Apple. It would have been a better job, huh? Than what I got. Then this is paperwork. There's a couple papers. I don't need to go through all of those. And this is the whole anthology paperwork of stuff talking about it. Uh, a lot of reading. <laughs> a lot of paperwork. <laughs> Someday I'll read. Anyway, it's a lot of, just a lot of uh, stuff, pages of paperwork about the anthology one. Then this is my news clippings that I clipped out. Beetle Brad got out of the paper. I know it's not exactly the first one, but hey, I know it's part of the second one, but that's okay. You'll get over it. Then this is Paul McCartney's Club Sandwich. And Club Sandwich has got a terrific picture of Paul, George, and Ringo. Isn't that just Fab Beatles? Here's another great Fab Beatles picture of the guys. This was Paul McCartney's magazine that he put out. He and Linda used to do this. So for those of you who don't know this magazine, this was Paul McCartney's own magazine of Club Sandwich. Fantastic magazine. Um, back a little further because I want you to see all these great pictures. A lot of really good pictures in here. And this, for the first time, we saw all three of them together, which was absolutely exciting. I was so happy as a Beatles fan to see all three of them together. And as Ringo was really sad, he, he was very upset in doing this because... John wasn't there, so Paul basically kind of just said to him, you know, just pretend John stepped out of the studio. Just just feel as if he's he's with us still. But he just had to step out and kind of left us in charge of doing it. Another great, great picture of the three of them. Terrific picture. I like that a lot. I know I like a lot of these pictures, but you know, it was exciting to to get these. It was very exciting to get these pictures because never saw the three of them together. The three of them never did anything. Now and then you'd see, uh, I've got pictures of Paul and uh, Ringo. They'd go out to eat. And then back to this, that's kind of the end. They'd go out to eat, you know, like Paul and Ringo, they'd go out to eat and there'd be like a picture of them. But you wouldn't see anything terrific with the three of them together. I forgot to show this for Anthology 2. This is a promotional thing for Best Buy. I'm putting a plug in for Anthology 2. I hope you watched it. Hope you watched my other video. Then at the Midnight Madness, you got this magazine. 
was all about the Beatles and the anthology as well. So this was all about Beatles anthology. Let's see if we can get you a good picture of something fun. But this showed all kinds of just neat picture stuff. And it was a kind of a giveaway. So if you bought the anthology, you also got this as well. Um, that's a great picture. So you would get different stuff like this. I had to stand up for that one. I was always happy to get something extra. <laughs> kind of don't do that too much. Then this is a mag, a uh, person's room back in the 60s. I'm going to do this without wrecking my magazine. This is a person's room back then. Having a hard time doing it, but you kind of get the gist of it. And then this is a, should be Beatles, Beatle Brad's room now, but that's another big Beatles room full of collectibles. Yeah, kind of looks like my room, doesn't it? And I'll kind of pan down slowly through that. But see, there's kind of the, the old and new. But isn't that kind of cool? All right. Back up on that. I wanted to show that up close because there was a lot to see. Oh, this is, this is the picture I was looking for. I was kind of stalling. But this is great. There's a good picture of him. With Jeff Lynn. So, hey, hey, hey. Good old Jeff Lynn. But that's a great magazine. That came with that. And then out of this magazine, well, it's kind of a book. Came out. Uh, there's some anthology pictures in here as well. I should have marked them. Uh, I forgot to. So, But we will get to that in a second. But first, we'll show you this one. That's one of my favorite pictures. Actually, a really great shot. Um... <laughs> stalling and taking time everybody doing great out there hey how are you doing okay there we go there's our picture so that's what I was going for was that kind of a little bit different like the same one I've got that I showed you um, I know there was another one in here but I can't find it right now but anyway this this was a great book I'm struggling to find stuff well this is good so if you get a chance, pick this up. <clears throat> Got a lot of really neat stuff. And then I still have this. This is still in the original wrap. This is my anthology t-shirt, which was a promotional t-shirt. And it's still in the wrap. I have not taken this out. That's really cool. So there we go. Beatles anthology t-shirt. And this is a, from the anthology. It's still, still in its baggie little bag it's the uh, Beatles it's a pin that's a promotional pin for the anthology then this is a big poster of the Beatles anthology very big poster as you can see all right set that over here hopefully Sorry to be so noisy on that. And this is another promotion stand-up. This is uh, for the DVD, well, actually VHS set. Excuse me, not the DVD set. That's for the anthology box set coming out. And this is the 45. I told you I had a lot of stuff to show you. You guys just don't believe me, do you? <laughs> but like I said, showing you different things to think outside the box. This is the American 45, free as a bird. My friend called it free as a squirrel. All right, but anyways, the 45 on that, that's cool. That's kind of neat. Then this is another free as a bird 45. And this is the UK copy, free as a bird. UK. And this is cool. This is a the album. I was so happy to get the album. Then did you all watch my video when I showed that Ringo got torn right here and there's Ringo's face. But the um, 
Pete Best album. I forgot to bring it up to show you that if you didn't see it, but I showed the Pete Best where that fits right in there perfect with Pete Best's face. Um, then this opens up like that. And we were treated to such fantastic new songs, new versions of stuff. And TV specials, recordings, this had everything. So for the first time in a long time, we got brand new stuff. And the only way you could have gotten any of these anthology stuff was through bootlegs. And we finally got them in much better shape. I won't go through all the vinyl. You all know there's three. There's one side. There's another side. But the only way you could get this was on bootleg. But this way you could get them all on very nice vinyl. There's like one record, two records, three records. But then to finally get them all on record or CD, that was fantastic to get. Really fun to get. I loved it. And then I bought this. This was frightfully expensive. When I bought this, this was well over $100. And it's still in the original shrink wrap. This is the anthology. There's my hype sticker. Still got the original plastic. But for those of you that are my older people, you'll know what this is. But for my younger viewers, I'm sure you don't know what this is. But this is the anthology... The anthology, but it's a laser disc. And it shows you how to maintain it. And the laser disc itself is looks like that. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> but that's a laser disc. Two sided laser disc. And the movie came out on laser disc as well. Um, it's not frightfully rare or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of fun to have. I do have a Laserdisc player, though. Um, people show Laserdiscs and they don't have a player, but I do. <laughs> so there. Um, uh, once in a while I will play a Laserdisc. It's kind of fun. But yeah, the anthology out on Laserdisc as well. So that's kind of exciting. Um... Neat, neat, neat. These are all in great shape. Um, they didn't come with a booklet, but they did come with like a paperwork in the back, which did kind of show and talk about the anthology itself, what you were getting, what was entailed. But it was basically the whole thing. I'll just show you, I'll just show you the, late, the latest last one. Pretty much the same thing like I showed you. I showed you. The disc again as well all right well this is gonna wrap up because I think I'm at the end of my stuff I've got more to show of anthology one but I figured that's ah, enough <laughs> I've I've taken too much time of showing anthology stuff uh, I've got a few promotional things here and there like a poster and stuff like that but eh, I figured enough's enough I've taken too much of your time anyway so let me know down below Comment down below here what you thought of the Beatles Anthology 1. Did you go out and buy it the day it came out? It was also re-released in 2011. But did you buy it originally when it came out in 95? And ironically, I'm doing it on the same day it was released. So it's kind of an anniversary. So that's kind of special and fun. Speaking of anniversaries, today is the Queen Elizabeth's 70th anniversary. <laughs> tie-in of anniversaries. Isn't that great? All right, vinyl community. I showed you my anthology stuff. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you bought originally or did you buy a 2011 copy? Or did you buy something else? Did you buy it on CD or cassette or the vinyl? Let me know. Let me know what you thought of the anthology. Is this your favorite one? Maybe it's not. Maybe you've got another favorite anthology. But let me know, Vinyl Community. I enjoyed talking to you. So as I say, I am out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya.